We're going to make three floors down And binigay niya lang sa amin kung Ilan yung bathroom, ilan yung rooms Ganun, and kami yung nag-design May service area, lanay Tapos ito yung living room Tapos mayroong dalawang bedroom sa taas Tapos mayroon siya ng common CR Mayroon akong porch Ito naman yung master's bedroom Na may access sa balcony Di ba yung master's bedroom, yung stairs Tapos may dining and then dining area, kitchen, as family room, guest bedroom, kasi yung isang bedroom. Bala i-re-render na lang namin siya and then ready for printing na. Why can't you feel it too? I know I loved you from the start. Ang nakarot pag-render, Ram. Ito yung kuha, trial down na. And as a part of this video, allow me to thank Gujodoc for sending me their latest Gujodoc 13 Pro stylus pen. So the Gujodoc 13 Pro includes a manual, a leather case, the Gujodoc 13 Pro pencil itself, and two replacement pen tips that are now easier to attach to the pen. Honestly, I already have the Gujodoc 13 pencil and I'm just really grateful that they collaborated with me to try out their latest Gujodoc 13 Pro. The pen automatically charges when placed on the side of the iPad and it also automatically powers on when you pick it up for writing. You can also turn it to normal mode wherein the pen intelligently turns off after 5 minutes of inactivity conserving battery life until you press the power button to wake it up again. Compared to the Gujodoc 13, in terms of experience, I feel like the Pro Pencil has a lot thinner pencil tip and it makes me more comfortable in writing. The Pro version also have now multi-function shortcut button. Press twice in a row to return to the desktop and press three times in a row to quickly navigate and switch interfaces. It is also now more accurate when I am writing and there is just no delay. Overall, this is the most pen-like Gujodoc pencil I have ever tried and probably the best version of all the stylus pens Gujodoc have ever released. And I am now more confident to say that you can compete this with the Apple Pencil. So if you want to get one as well, don't forget to check my description box for the link and use my code to get discount. 
So if you don't know guys, I was selected as the regional director for all the OST scholars dito sa Region 1. So basically, I am holding the highest position and it's my first time to hold such a responsibility. Kaya I am a bit really busy. na pressure ako about sa programs and campaigns namin. I still have to review para sa mga other subjects ko. But gusto ko munang matanggal yung agony ko about this. We're also planning to raise funds through the OST merch. So yun, I have to make papers and start planning out. Honestly, di ko pa masyadong gamay kasi it's such a really high position, especially at a really big organization. Whole region to eh. So, nag-aasap ako ng guidance sa former director namin. Sorry, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this out.
Kina ka ba na ko? Because I will be presenting yung project namin sa provincial org, and I will be attending a national conference for the OST scholars. And right now we are having a mock presentation. Take two, take two. Okay. Isang ilaw, isang pangarap. In the heart of the Philippines, where children. I know that you're curious why I'm no longer posting study vlogs because especially during my freshman year I was really active in uploading study vlogs but since I was second year and third year I barely upload study vlogs and if you're an engineering student you'll understand this that engineering is really pressuring like I've been struggling academically and I felt like I was not credible enough to share contents about studying if I'm failing my exams. I'm just really crawling. Alam mo yun? For the past three years, I felt like I've lost my life. I'm no longer enjoying. I'm literally just pushed to the edge. If you don't know, my latest vlog I talked about going to nationals. Honestly, after nationals, when I went back to school, I got demotivated so bad and I even told my mom, Ma, I no longer want to continue studying and I want to stop for one year. I told her that. And we talked to each other and I decided to just continue and, you know, do what I can, whatever the results are. So, right now, I am here. So, that's just it. Yun lang naman yung pinaka main reason. I stopped doing study vlogs because I felt like it, I'm such a hypocrite for doing it if I'm failing my exams. But anyway, I'm still a regular student naman as an engineer, but just for my mental health lang naman na I don't want to do it anymore. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy this type of vlog na more realistic lang as an engineering student na even if you work so hard, even if you don't sleep at night reviewing, there is still instances na masizero mo pa rin yung exam, di mo masasolve. Maybe di mo na master ng masyado, or na mental block ka lang, or na demotivate ka lang, or you're going through something. Being an engineering student is really hard guys, like super duper hard. I'm no longer enjoying college. Ewan ko lang sa others, pero personally lang naman to. I barely enjoy my college because of my course. But at least I'm pushing through, di ba? 
But anyway, as for this week, I know that I did my best. Sa junk, just disappointing na I was not able to apply it during my exams. Simply kasi ng examples namin, guys, like our professor teaches us very simple traces lang. But when I went to the exam hall, like yung traces na like, grabe talaga, grabe yung exams namin, guys. Yun, alam you guys, for the past 3 years, pag nadadown ako na super duper, especially if I'm failing my exams, I want to cry pero di ako naiiyak. Like, I want to cry pero I can't cry it out. So parang, it just stays in my deep deep. So super bigat. Kasi di ko maiiyak. Anyway, I'm just hoping na ma-survive ko to and I hope na makabawi pa ako in my next exams kasi magpa-finals na kami for mag-Christmas. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I just hope that you enjoyed the following week. Bye-bye.